Thomas Markle breaks his silence. Megan's father sat down for his first ever television interview with Pierce Morgan, where he spilled secrets about his relationship with his daughter and her prince. Let's now head to our London newsroom. Jake Wallace Simons is there. Jake, what's going on overseas? Jesse, this was a world exclusive interview with DailyMail.com editor at large, Piers Morgan. And Thomas Markle opened up about what it was like not to be able to walk his own daughter down the aisle. I was very upset that it wasn't me, but the whole world was watching my daughter. I was very happy about that. The unfortunate thing for me now is that I'm a footnote in one of the greatest moments in history rather than the dad walking her down the aisle. So that upsets me somewhat. How can I ask for a better replacement from Charles? I was thrilled to tears that he was doing that for me. I just wish it had been my hand holding my daughter, not his. Mr. Markle said that Prince Harry was easy to talk to, but he did feel the need to deliver a warning to the royal when he asked for his daughter's hand in marriage over the phone. Harry got on the phone with Meghan. They called me together, and uh, Harry asked for her hand over the phone. And I said, uh, you're a gentleman. Uh, promise me you'll never raise your hand against my daughter, and of course I give you my permission. Despite many conversations with the royals about not working with the press, Mr. Markle did stage those notorious paparazzi pictures. In the interview, he shared Meghan and Harry's reaction. I spoke to them both and I apologized. Uh, I realized it was a serious mistake, but hard to take it back. Uh, but here again, it was a change. It was to improve my look. Uh, I had been seen as a negative for an entire year. I just wanted to improve my look. It wasn't, and they were, they were very forgiving. It wasn't that difficult. Both Harry and Meghan were very forgiving about it. Thomas Markle was paid a few thousand pounds for the interview, but he said that he didn't do it for the money. Instead, he did it to set the record straight. And we understand that the royal family was not informed in advance of this interview. Jake Wallace-Simons, thank you.